Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. So what I want to do is a tier list. So obviously that means I want to get all of my characters in a tier guys and just see what you guys think and what your opinions and my opinions on on basically how I feel everybody should be and where they should be. I'm just going to do it on tanks for now. Uh, I want to do this and test the walls because this is a different type of video. It's not so much a gameplay, so I just want to do it with tanks first. If you guys like this, I will very slowly get through maybe once a week, twice a week on doing each class type. And I will probably have to redo the tank one after the update. But I want to do your tanks first because I think tanks are one of the most important elements of your team. So guys, let me know what you think of this like, video idea. We've got a tier list. I'm going to drag them in and talk about it. Before we do that, guys, I want to jump into today's fan art favourites and see who today's winner is going to be. So let's go onto the site, give it a refresh. That's so cool. I can't get over how good that is. Oh, someone's joined. Um, someone's drawn Bo Peep. Damn! That is incredible. Whoever drew that, that is an incredible drawing. That actually looks better than the movie. Also, once put, this is my favorite cartoon. I started it a month ago. Oh, the Rugrats. That was just one of the, f when, when you were little, the Rugrats had that on Sunday morning. Rugrats couldn't beat it. You couldn't beat that. And then they ruined it with all these weird spin-offs. But today's winner has to be this one. It actually looks really cool. I actually fully rate that, guys. That's a really decent drawing. Anyway, whoever drew that, that is really sick. Now, before we get into the tier listing review, guys, I want to go over my uh, team suggestion review today. So we got a comment from Adrian Villa. He said, love your videos. Thank you so much, Adrian. And please review my team, which is Goofy, Sully, Ralph, Zerg, and Buzz Lightyear. So straight off the bat, we've got two, we've got three tanks, which is an issue in my opinion. We do not need three tanks in the team. So we will get to that and um, change that. So we look at the three tanks. Goofy, Sully, Ralph. Who's the worst? Ralph. He's already knocked out. Sully and Goofy are good. They're both as good as each other. Goofy has a lot more survivability than Sully. But if you use Goofy and Sully together, it works well. Sully was healing. Goofy taking all the damage, speeding everybody up, shielding and doing his invincibility bits. So we'll lock Goofy and Sully down because they work well in unison. They work well together. Sully healing Goofy. Goofy just accepting the damage, guys. So, and then we, then we talk about Ralph. So we don't need Ralph. I'm going to knock Ralph off completely. Zerg is really good. So I'm going to suggest that you get rid of Ralph. If you really want to keep three tanks for whatever reason, get rid of Ralph, put both people on. But if not, get rid of Ralph and put Beast on. Then you'd have Beast, Zerg and Buzz Lightyear. Then I'd suggest that you swap Zerg for Moana. So you'd have Goofy, Sully, Beast, Moana and Buzz. And that would be a phenomenal, phenomenal team. You'd have Moana, Healing, Beast, Sully and Goofy just in case they get low. Sully using his healing after to heal the entire team. Buzz is insane for damage and DPS. So I'd fully recommend that that's what you go with, guys. So yeah, that's a quick review for you guys. So I need to get into today's video because I want to get this tier review for you guys. That's a quick review, Adrian. Pop on the cat, as I said. Your team would be laughing. So now let's take a look. So I, I, I want to cover... I don't want to cover each character insanely... But I want to give you my opinion on the characters. I've got the game open on the other screen so I can look at skills. But this is my opinion. Guys, I want you to submit your own tier lists on my website. What I will do is I'll go onto my website now and I'll upload the actual... Um, that means to do that. I will upload the actual tier so you guys can pull it off. So um, there's the list. So your tiers, suggestions. 
So guys, use that to submit your tier suggestions and who you think you should use. So it's there, you can grab it off my website. So now let's get into this. So straight off the bat, basically you can rank it as scale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, S, whatever. Top is obviously the best, bottom's obviously the lowest. So straight off the bat, I've got to take a look at some the one that I think is the worst, and that is a giant, giant placement of Maui. And guys, you need to all understand that Maui always needs to be at the bottom. Maui is a terrible character, and it's just a shame, really, because I, I kind of thought Maui might have a little bit of potential, but he just doesn't. He, none of his moves are, are worthwhile. Nothing he really does kind of really matters. He's just a weak all around character, guys. And I've just noticed I haven't got Shank in my, um, in my list. But yeah, I don't agree. I, it's just, it's just, it just shouldn't, it just shouldn't be a character, guys. I honestly just think that Maui just shouldn't be in this game. Like I've never seen anybody use Maui, and that's obviously straight away when you get when you get those issues, guys. If nobody uses Maui, all of his skills are useless. Okay, shark bites, fair enough when someone's on low health, but the rest of his skills are useless, guys. So I'm immediately going to put um, Bo Peep in top tier. Her move where she spins the axe around is just crazy. Like, you don't need anything else. You just do that spin move and everybody is dropping, guys. You do that spin move, everybody's dead, nice and easy. You Honestly, that's all I need to say. Bo Peep at the top because of her spin move. She deflects, pushes everybody back and everybody does so much damage. Now, once again, guys, this is my opinion. So you guys need to let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Go onto my website and download it and make your own tier list and submit it to my website, guys. And I can review your tier list as well. So then I'm also, I, I, I want to kind of put Bogo kind of in between there for now. So I'm not 100% agreed on Bogo because he's complicated. Goofy is going to go straight as top tier at the moment as well. Goofy is a very good character. He's got very good moves. And you just don't want to mess around with Goofy's Buster moves, speeds everybody up. He's got so much health. He heals himself. He gives himself a shield. He's got a lot of moves which are very good for supporting. So it's kind of a support tank. Uh, Rex is also going to go straight at the bottom. His moves are garbage and he dies straight away. I'm not going to put Mr. Incredible right at the bottom. But he's, he's going to sit very, very close to the bottom. Because he, he, he lacks a lot. Mr. Incredible lacks a lot. And that's why I'm going to pop him down there. I just think Mr. Incredible could, could be better in pretty much every single way. He uses that move and goes push, 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 push. Push, push, push. And all he does is punch the floor and he dies straight away. I want to put Sully in A. Now, Sully, close your eyes for this. Because I don't want you to be upset with me. But he just doesn't have enough armor. But his healing laughter is outrageous. I'm going to drop... Bogo down to B, in my opinion. His he, he just lacks any sort of damage, but he can keep a team alive. Like, no matter what, he can keep a team solid. And I want to put Baymax up in S rank. No, I don't. I want to put Baymax in A. Baymax shields are very, very, very good. He's got a constant shield. He's got a lot of moves which do shields. Shielding actually. He's got a single one. He's got a team one. And he shoots through. He's got loads of armor. So. <coughs> oh. Sorry guys. So he goes through with a lot of healing armor shielding. So that's why I'd sit Baymax. I'd want to put Hercules at the top as well. I haven't used Hercules as you can tell. But I am getting him towards six stars guys. I generally think Hercules is a very good character. Um, one of the main reasons I think Hercules is good is because obviously he heals himself and becomes invincible for eight seconds. He is a tank that becomes invincible for eight seconds. That is just insane. He throws him his sword, which damages everybody. He stuns for eight seconds. He just has to be at the top. He's a phenomenal character. 
Ralph, I want to sit Ralph on C. No idea. I want to move Burgo down to C and sit Ralph on B. Because Ralph's really good with his healing. Um, and he's good with stunning. He just kind of lacks output and damage. But if you use Ralph, guys, you can keep your team alive uh, by using Ground Slam, which stuns. Wreck It um, has a stun effect as well. He shouts, which silences enemies for two seconds. So if someone's about to use their special, you can just drip it off with one button press. Drip it off, drip it off, drip it off, drip it off like that with one button press. And then we, then if we had a look at someone like uh, Hades, I want to kind of put Hades up at A as well. When he dies, he heals. He damages everybody. He sets everybody on fire. And he just does tick, 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 tick damage. Endless tick damage, guys. So I want to sit Hades around A. Um, the Queen of Hearts could be controversial, but I'm going to put the Queen of Hearts on E. Queen of Hearts is more usable than Maui and Rex, but kind of sits on the same element as Mr. Incredible. All of her moves kind of suck. Um, and she's kind of got the same thing as Maui, that when anybody's close to being dead, she'll knock them off straight away. Uh, but I just think her special is useless. It does that thing where it runs from both sides. It pushes the enemies in the middle and stuns them. But I swear to God, it doesn't stun them properly. And they can just push out of it. Now, I actually, no, I'm gonna, I, I am going to move Bogo down to D, actually, guys. Because I kind, of, I kind of think that Felix should be above Bogo. But he shouldn't quite be at the top. Is, um, is is kind of my um, premise in this one, guys. I don't think Bogo should be at the top. But I also kind of think that um, it would be worthwhile having Felix on a team. If, if you were struggling with some characters or you had anything along those lines. Because Felix is very good. I covered this in a previous video that when you're using fears you go tong tong and he smacks himself on the head hill 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 freeze hill 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 freeze hill 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 what am i doing but if you use this disc with frozone one two three four five it's freeze one two three four five freeze one two three four five freeze so that's why i put him above bogo because bogo just kind of sits there and doesn't do any damage now, he does shield very, 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 very well. But he kind of gets stuck there. and doesn't do a lot of damage. So to me, that's an issue. To me, get him to the bottom of the list. So now it's kind of debatable. Where do I put Shank? Now, she's a very, very, very unique character, Shank. And this is kind of where I struggle of where... Where should I put Shank? Where does Shank need to go? What do I need to do? How am I going to do it? Shank, why are you so complicated? I'd put Shank alongside... Um, I'd put Shank alongside... Uh, Ralph. Just because I honestly think Ralph kind of lacks... Um, Ralph lacks doing a lot of damage, such as Shank. But Shank can be good, but I just don't like her special. Because she, she, needs to in, she needs to inhale loads of damage before she uses her special. And then we just kind of fall to being trapped in this loop of damage. So this is mine. So top tier, a 150%. Bo Peep, Goofy, uh, Hercules. Second tier, Sully, Baymax. Forgotten his name. I have just completed her. Uh, Fire guy with blue head. Third tier, Ralph and Shank. Fourth, Felix. Felix is fourth, like I said, because he can heal himself. And his lemming rush is better than Bogo. And he's more survivable than Bogo. So then E is Mr. Incredible because he does nothing. His, his, his fourth skill is a waste. And he just dies straight away because he's got no shield. Uh, Queen of Hearts, I think all of her moves are useless. Maui, I want Maui to be high. Yo, oh, see what's happening here. I want Maui to be higher, but he just doesn't do anything. And Rex, Rex should just be down there. Because Rex is trash. But guys, that's my, um, 
my team. That is my team, my tier, my top tier team suggestions for tanks. Top tier teams, top tier teams, top tier tank teams, uh, top tier teams, top tier team tank, top tier, top tier teams. Yeah, that's what I'm going <laughs> to... There's actually something wrong with me. That's what I'm going to name this video. Top tier, tier, top tier, top tier team tier. <laughs> top team, tier top teams. Top team tiers, tiers, top tier teams. Top tier teams is what I'm going to name this video. Guys, so thank you for watching top tier teams. It's been a good one. It's been on tanks. Thank you all for your continued support. If you like this video idea, let me know. And I'll do a couple of them every other day, every week, every few whatevers. But guys, I will see you in the next one. And when the update comes out, I'm going to do one with every single character. But I want to do it on a live stream. So, because I want your guys' input. I want your guys' suggestions. So I do plan on doing it on a live stream. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Top tier teams. Tier top tier, top tier, tier top tier, tier, tier.